Jaguar season. Jaguars up. Left side of the brain. Let me tell y'all something right now. Don't be fooled by smiles. All that smiling stuff people be doing, that stuff don't mean nothing. Don't be fooled by these little gestures they do, these haze and hellos and how you doing and all of that. That stuff don't mean nothing. And I'm surprised, you know, nobody has ever touched on this, but that's why I was sent to do it. All of that stuff is just a mind game. Hey, what's up? All of that stuff is just a mind game. See what I'm saying? Like, them little smiles, people flash. I was walking by this girl, right? She gonna smile. But I can tell, like, these smiles, man, they don't mean that the person likes you. It don't mean none of that. It's just a way for them to hide who they are. You know what I'm saying? It's just another trick of this matrix, organic portal realm, whatever you want to call it. But it's just another trick for them to utilize to fool you. Handshakes. I don't even like shaking people's hands. Like all of this shit, man. It's just. It's say uh it's just a bunch of bullshit to make you fall for the trick, man. I done figure this shit out, man. It's just bullshit. And men, I'm gonna tell you something else. Where I'm at right now, right? It's a lot of women on dates with men and shit. All that dating shit, walking around the park with girls holding hands and all that. All that shit is a waste of fucking time. Because you know that you just want to have sex. You want to fuck the girl. But she's doing the same thing that I'm telling you about. Them fake smiles, shaking hands, holding hands, all of that stuff, man. Like if something going to go down, it just goes down. Like, what are you smiling at me for? You get what I'm saying? Why? If you ask the person why they doing it, they not going to have an answer for you. Like, I was at a grocery store today, and this lady had looked at me, right? And our eyes met. But I wanted to walk up to her and say to her, what did you see? When you looked at me. Has anybody ever did that to you? Like, they will, like, look you in the eyes. Your eyes will meet their eyes. You'll make eye contact, but they turn around and they don't say nothing. So why the fuck you look at me for? You see what I'm saying? What are you looking at when you see me? Why, why are you looking into my eyes? What the fuck are you looking into my eyes for? Why are you smiling? For what reason? I, I like people... So just walk past me and just let it be. See, it's them people who give you that, that little smile. Them the ones you got to watch. Because when you shake somebody's hand, you're giving it all away. Because if you shake my hand and it's fake, only thing you're doing is allowing me to, to get an even closer reading on your energy. Because if you shake somebody's hand, and when it doesn't feel right, you can feel like their hand is still gripping your hand even when you let their hand go. And it's not no good feeling. You see what I'm saying? So don't be trying to uh, trick me. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need nobody smiling at me for no reason. I'm not no little baby. You know, how they, you know how they play with little, you know how you play with little babies? Hey, little, 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 all of that type of stuff. It's like they're just playing games. They ain't nothing but demons. Walking by you with that little silly smile. And it's a fake smile. It's like a clown. You know how a clown have a, a painted smile on their face? Shit fake, man. You got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a realist. No time for that, man. I need to turn around, too, because there's nothing around here. Let me go this way. Get back where the light is. Y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I hate that. 
you know and a lot of time and the next time somebody smile at you they ask you how you doing i bet you tell them your problem just 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 play along with it say oh, i ain't doing too good i, I need i need uh five dollars worth of gas to make it home can i get five dollars from you oh no i can't that's what they're gonna say so why you ask me how i'm doing Everything out here, it's like a trick. It's a game. Just like when you're talking to a female. When you're talking to a female, it's never genuine. It's never genuine. It's always a mind game involved with speaking to a woman and with some of these men. And I say some of these men because some of these men were raised by females so their brain is lopsided they imbalanced they imbalanced because they um were raised by women so they have more estrogen than they really should and they're not coming from the left side of the brain they think more like a female so that's why i don't even hang around a lot of dudes Actually, I don't hang around nobody. I'm going to be honest with you. Because it's like this. When I'm hanging around people, it's like there has to be a purpose. So let's just say we're doing a business venture or something. That's cool. That would be the purpose. But for me to hang around a person that has a lopsided mentality... That wouldn't serve no purpose. Like, I, like I'm doing now. You see what I had to do? I had to lower my voice. Because I'm talking about something that's of a higher quality. You see? And when, these, when you get around these motherfuckers and you're speaking something of a higher quality. They look at you funny like something ain't right with you or something. But, uh... I know what it's about. Let me get away from these people. Let me get somewhere where I am situated. In a quiet zone or something. Yeah. Some benches over here. Yeah, man. I'm like... I don't hang around people because... To hang around people... You have to... Conform. The more people you get around, the more conforming you have to do. You gotta, just like in the business world, right? We're talking about fake smiles, right? So, just like in the business world, right? Business meetings, you gotta fake. You gotta, you gotta fake smile. You gotta handshake. You gotta shake people's hands. You know, dealing with a lot of people, you pick up a lot of germs, man. I'm, it's just a metaphor. Spiritually, like you know that hand sanitizer stuff. When you're shaking a lot of people's hands, you're not just picking up physical germs and bacteria. You're also picking up a lot of negative germs from their aura. That's why when you when you leave a crowd full of people, you feel you feel bad. You don't feel good. Like when I be making those videos and i be in those stores and stuff when they be real crowded it's like a thick cloud in the atmosphere and those fake smiles that's like really a frown when a person gives you a fake smile it's really a frown i'm gonna just be real it's not a smile but somebody give you a fake handshake that's really them sticking their middle finger up at you. Because everything these people do is backwards. Just like with a, with a woman. You treat a woman good, she don't like you. You see, they all backwards. If you good, they don't like you. Just like this world. If you good, you bad. So they smile is a frown. And a handshake is them saying fuck you. But they so deceptive, they gonna say fuck you in the form of a handshake. Or the form of a fake smile. You see, and they're not going to tell you why 
they don't like you. They never do that. They just gonna let you know it by the way they give off a certain energy to you. But they never gonna tell you why such and such and why we feel the way we do. They never gonna say it. They never gonna say it. You can't get the truth from these people. It don't come from them. They not the dispensers of truth. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's almost like being in a, being in a relationship with a woman, right? <clears throat> and you're saying, well, what I do wrong, baby? What I do? I don't know how y'all talk to y'all girls or whatever. What I do wrong, honey, or whatever y'all say. What did I do wrong? She can never tell you. Because she don't even know. Because these people, they don't operate off of logic. That's why the name of this channel is Left Side of the Brain. We're dealing with the logic side of the brain. You asking these people why, 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 they don't even know they self. The only thing they know is this right here. What we do is permissible. And that's good enough for them. It ain't about right and wrong in this world. What we say, it's about violence and manipulation. If they can manipulate enough people that the wrong thing is right, that's all that matters. It's not about what's right and what's wrong. Like I said, it's us, the United Souls, because we are good people. We are the ones that's operating with all of this treat others right, all of this good morality. But them people you're dealing with, they're not thinking like that. They could care less about that. You the one that has a conscience. Only a person with a soul can have a conscience. People that are what we call organic portals, they don't have a conscience. They just they just go off of what everybody else is doing. Whatever is socially acceptable, that is their conscience. That's why they don't accept you. That's why they do things that you wouldn't do. They do what the majority of everybody do. That is their conscience. Your conscience is oftentimes misused because you taking all of that stuff about morality and turn the other cheek and forgiveness and all of this and applying it to them when it doesn't work with them. It don't work with them. The only thing they know is violence and deception. They don't know anything else. They just know money, flash some money at them, and then you accept it. Look intimidating to them, and then you accept it. You know, anything else, being a good person with a good spirit and a good vibe, they don't care about that. Why do you think the president, they roll around with security guards and the military, the, the, the United States put so much money into, into the military. Because this world at the end of the day is ran off of violence and manipulation. Nobody out here respects nothing that left side of the brain is saying. This, what I'm saying, it don't amount to a hill of beans in the eyes of those people. In the eyes of those people you work around, your girlfriend, your boyfriend or whatever, it don't mean nothing to them. So if you're trying to take the information off this channel and apply it in this world, it's not gonna work for you. Like I say, the only thing that you can do with this information is apply it to yourself. And like I say, live for yourself and not for others. Go into nature, Carry that cave around with you at all times and just survive. Your most basic instinct is survival. You don't even have to think about survival. I was speaking about the different type of purposes. I said that you have applied purpose, you have designated purpose, and you have natural purpose. Your natural purpose is to survive. An applied purpose would be something that you 
give meaning to for life. Like, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. That would be like applied purpose. Designated purpose would be like somebody forcing you into slavery, making your purpose be a slave. Natural purpose is survival. What your body is based upon, like your organs. You got kidneys that filter the unclean things out of your body. So you don't have to ask your kidneys what is their purpose. They are, they are operating in a natural purpose. So your, your natural self, your physical body, your organic body, its purpose is to survive. So that's what you should be focusing on. Aligning yourself with that natural purpose. Like if somebody put a match to my hand, I'm automatically going to pull back. Because I don't even have to tell myself to pull back. Because it's innate, it's built inside of me, it's built into my natural purpose to survive. So I will automatically pull my hand back. Somebody put a hot nickel on your back and you didn't see them, you're going to say, ouch, you're going you're gonna to automatically react. Like if you go to the dark and they take that hammer thing and, and hit your knee and your, your reflexes, that's an automatic purpose to react and to survive. You automatically going to pull back from the hot match because why? One of your purposes is to survive and to have as much comfort while, survive, while surviving as possible. That's why if somebody put you under so much stress and pain, you would be ready to die. You would say, I would rather die because part of your survival is surviving in comfort, okay? But anything outside of that, smiling at these people, fake handshakes, you think they saying they like you, they saying fuck you. That's what they saying. And you already know that. You can tell how it feels. They saying fuck you. I don't give a fuck about you. That's what they saying. That's why when they smile at you, it feels bad even though they smiled at you. How many of you all can, and can attest to that? Has anybody ever smiled at you and it felt bad? But you but it kind of fucks with your brain because you're like, that's a smile though. It wasn't a smile. It was a fuck you. It was a it was a I fuck you kind of smile. That's what I'm saying. These people, these people are opposite, man. And this is just reality, man. Like I say, like watching these videos. It could be good if, you, if you're ready for it, but it can be bad if you're not ready for it. Because once you hear information like this, it alters, it alters your entire frame of thinking. And that's something, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for giving me what, he, what I'm about to say. That word alter me, your old self, your old way of thinking, you have to sacrifice it on the altar. It becomes dead. So it just don't alter your way of thinking. It actually, that old way you thought, you place it upon the altar and you kill it. You sacrifice it. It's gone. You can never go back to it. That's a ritual in itself. Just learning this information is a ritual in itself. You sacrificing that old you and you walking into the new light. And you seeing the world differently. So you can never go back. Once you hear these videos on this channel, you can never go back to your old frame of thinking. You won't even fit into that frame. Your mind has outgrown that frame. You won't even fit into it anymore. You're going to look at the world totally different. So give yourself a hand clap. Clap, 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 clap. It feels good, right? At least you got that out of life. You know what I'm saying? At least you got the reality. I mean, that's more than what they got. They live their whole life. Just imagine how much worse it would be to live your whole life and to die never getting the truth about this world and there's some people out here that's like that so fuck that one tenth shit <laughs>
<laughs> all that one tenth and all that and it was somebody who who, who commented on um that video i said what y'all think about that they basically said fuck all that one tenth shit they said if you that person comment in this video because that was funny to me um they didn't actually put it so harsh like that but i can see what they were saying they wanted to say it like that but out of respect for me which i appreciate they said it in a light-hearted manner but yeah fuck all that one tenth shit <laughs> Oh man, fuck all that one temp shit. If you gotta decide about these people, man, fuck them, man. All that two temp and I mean, they have one temp, but fuck it. It don't mean nothing. So that's all a new thing. Fuck that one temp shit. A one temp person, that was one of the teachings. I mean, we'll just say this a one temp, they just got less poison. But they still gonna fuck you over. So really, eh, picking the best out of the trash, you might have a better connection with a one ten. Yeah, but fuck them still. We know still deep, deep inside, it's just us versus them. We ain't got no time to play games. Um, yeah, man. What was I saying? I lost what I was saying. That was so funny. I lost what I was saying. Oh, I was talking about... Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. I said something about the, the altar. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I said it already. Yeah. So, yeah, you sacrifice this life, the false life, and then you gain the real life. And really, it's like this, too. If you never wake up in this world... You never was alive. Life, let's redefine what is life. And this is an exercise of fun. Damn, all that noise right now. This is a, y'all can't hear me, hold on, hold on. This was done on purpose. And I'm trying to tell y'all, this is not a coincidence. It's another thing. When stuff like this happen, it's not a coincidence. It's real. It's really against you. I'm trying to tell you. They didn't just arbitrarily choose to come down this way. I'm telling you. Life don't work like that. Everything got a reason to it. Just go. What y'all Go the fuck that way. They ain't talking about shit. Them two people that walk past, they ain't talking about shit. And I'm not trying to be arrogant, y'all, but it's like once you get to a certain level, you can just see a person's body posture and the gait in their walk and they the swagger of their shoulders and stuff. You ain't talking about shit. Like, can I do my video now? Cool. Now don't take it that I'm arrogant or nothing. Fuck it. Take it how you want to take it. I ain't, I ain't living for others. I'm living for myself. Because the people that's real, they feel what I'm saying. They know how it's coming across. God damn. Alright, alright, alright. Motherfuckers. Now. What I was saying before we was rudely interrupted in this war between us versus them, let's redefine life. And this is a fun exercise. I want you all, the Jaguars, I want you to put your definition of life in the comment section, okay? I'm redefining life, what we are calling it, and I still want you all to give your own input. Life is waking up to reality. People who live their whole life and never woke up to what we say on this channel, they were never alive. They lived their whole life as corpse, walking the walking dead. They were just zombies. They were just corpse. They was corpse their whole entire life. They never woke up. So that's what we're saying. So you feel blessed and fortunate that you found left side of the brain you found this channel 
because I'm fortunate to have somebody to listen, okay? To let me know that I'm not the only one. And this is also a form of confirmation. You see, if it wasn't nobody else like me, then I would know for sure that I was missing a component. Like, I don't really, I really, really, really don't have no reason being here. But now that I know I have other Jaguars walking around in the forest with me, then I know I'm not abnormal. I'm just, I'm just in a world where the majority of them dictate the things that's taking place. But I know it's other Jaguars walking around in the Amazon forest with me. We just don't hang out with each other, but we connect on, on this plane of conversation. We feel each other without having to be right in front of each other. We friends without having to see each other because we connecting right here. We connecting. Every time you come to this video, we connecting. I know the people who comment. I'm familiar with people. I'm familiar with your insights. I read the comments. So I'm familiar. Here lately, I haven't been able to be on the comments as much as I would like to respond. So if you placed a comment and I haven't got to it yet, I've, I saw it, but I haven't had a time to respond the day before yesterday i responded to some comments but i'm gonna get to all of your comments so just hold out um i see the comments i read it and it's a lot of encouragement to me and um yeah what else do i want to say i really don't want to leave you now because i'm actually enjoying this see i do these videos as a form of self-therapy this is therapy to me. That's why I can't wait till we get to the 200 mark on Instagram so we can go ahead and do that live stream. You know what, y'all? We are at like 120 something now. Last time I checked, we should get to 200 like nothing. That should be real quick. And we are almost at 1,000 subscribers. So when we get to a thousand subscribers, I'm able to do live streams on YouTube. Cause I think my, my restriction, it may be coming close to being up. Cause I was put on a three month restriction and I think that's coming to an end. So when I, when I get off that restriction, I'll be doing live streams like that. So don't even worry about it. Like the live streams, they coming. We're going into fall semester. The last day of summer is on the 22nd. So don't worry about that. Like a live stream's coming. So y'all just stay patient. And shout out to everybody that's been there since the beginning. The beginning of this channel. The beginning of the last channel. Shout out to everybody that's been donating to the Patreon. Like all of that stuff. You know, I respect that. Jaguars, I think I'm going to have to end this video because... I think I said what I had to say today. Fuck these fake smiles. Fuck these fake handshakes. They not for you. They pretending to be for you. Um, their handshake is really a handcuff. They trying to pull you in with that handshake. To make you believe that you accept it. You will never be accepted in this world. No matter how much they smile. No matter how much they give you a fake handshake. They will never accept you. Because you were not born to be accepted. And wear that badge of honor with dignity and pride and pride. Look at look at yourself in the mirror every morning and say to yourself, I am not accepted. I do that all the time. I was walking around tonight saying to myself, I'm not accepted. I'm not a part of this. I'm not. I'm unique. I'm different. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you're not accepted. And face it, face the facts, get over it, stop being sad about it, stop being depressed. Depression, the root of depression is wanting to be accepted. You're not, you're not going to be accepted, man. Forget it. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Yes. You, the person listening to this, you are not accepted. You never will. So, so may as well. Put that hashtag I'm done in the comment section 
Hashtag, I'm tapping out, because that's what it is. This left side of the brain signing out. Till next time.